our lives are about to dramatically change if they have not already by AI. 92 million. That's a number of jobs that will be displaced by AI by 2030. That's a conservative estimate also. Goldman Sachs thinks that number is closer to 300 million. And I've seen estimates even higher than that. You might be thinking that our economy is more developed. Whether you live in South Korea or America or anywhere in Europe, for example, 60% of the jobs in economically developed countries will be impacted by this revolution. And it's closer to 20% in developing countries. So the more economically advanced your country is, the more chance you have of being impacted by this revolution. Now, how is this going to affect you? Let's take, for example, my sales team right here. This fictitious sales team hates to do RFPs, requests for proposals. They have to go out there and search for them, first of all. Once they find them, they have to write dozens and dozens of pages to respond to a single RFP. And then they might be late or they might not receive it at all. In my example here, we have four salespeople that have to go out there and do this type of work. I have one that's an SDR or a sales development rep that goes out there and searches for RFPs. I have a senior sales rep that responds to it, an estimator that puts a price tag on it, and then I have an analyst who has to go out there and do additional research for the RFP. Now this can take a long time, days and days of work to do a single RFP. Now I'm not expecting you to read this prompt here, but this prompt is basically saying, go out there and find me some RFPs. This is what my company does. This is my bill rate, the number of margin I'm expecting to make, and go ahead and make sure I have this much lead time to respond to RFP. So for this example, I'm gonna use Manus AI. I'm gonna build a prompt that's going to tell it what kind of bill rate I have, what kind of projects I'm interested in, and what my company does. After I do that, it's going to spin up a bunch of agents to search all these websites for me. Take the RFP that has tons of questions I have to answer and automatically answer in my voice. After I do that, I simply have to go and review those RFPs instead of writing them at that point. And what is the outcome of what it does? Manus is going to build an entire website, a bunch of Word docs, an Excel spreadsheet that shows me all the projects and lets me analyze all this data. It did all of this in about 15 minutes of time. Now, what has that done to my team then? This has basically taken my team of four people and condensed it down to one person reviewing this and handshaking with a customer. Now my senior sales rep can act like four sales reps, including the analyst and the estimator. This was a single example with a single use case, but this will impact every single industry down the line. Whether you be manufacturing, having the things you build analyzed by AI to make sure that this is a good product before it goes out the door, or a customer service agent finding that all the boring mundane emails are now being responded automatically by AI. Now this graph here is gonna show you a few of the other sectors that are gonna be most impacted. The purple line here is showing you the percent of the job that might be impacted in this sector. So things like banking questions can be automatically answered by AI. These are the list of the top growing jobs in the industry right now. There might be a theme here, as you can see. AI is littered all over this. And there's also things with data. Anything that has to do with crunching of data, analyzing this data is gonna be a necessity in this new world. Let's dive deeper into AI engineers. This is just an old position that's been rehashed. A few years ago, this is called machine learning engineers. Before that, it might be called data mining engineers. But either way, it's the same position with brand new salaries. For every position that goes filled, there are 600 unfilled. Now, what does that mean? It's driving the salaries up. It's meaning that the average starting wage for this position is almost $250,000, with an average wage of $400,000. So we're seeing the growth of this position. And it's basically the old technology you've seen before. Knowing how to do Python, knowing how to do coding and some mathematics. So if you're great at math, there's a great amount of opportunities for you coming up. Also, for all of my data folks, there are tons of positions for analyzing, crunching and storing data as well. Now let's look at the bad news here. All the positions here are gonna be impacted the most. Just because these positions are being impacted, it does not mean they're going away. 
For example, you still want to talk to a human and shake that financial planner's hand. That financial planner will be using AI to crunch the numbers and interpret that for you. Same thing with doctors, lawyers, accountants are all going to be using AI daily in their position. So these senior positions are all about adaptability and reinventing your old position into a brand new way. A matter of fact, 170 million new positions by 2030 are going to be created because of AI also. The thing to keep in mind is that over the centuries, every economic evolution that we've gone through, whether it be the Industrial Revolution, whether it be the technology evolution in the 90s, and the mobile revolution in the 2000s, all of these brought more jobs and more wealth. The same thing we hope to happen here also. We're seeing the major tech firms spend $320 billion to invest in this new revolution that we're going through now. And that 92% of companies are investing in AI over the next three years. So your job is going to change. What happens next? Well, the solution is really twofold. The first side is what do we tell our children to study and spend their time on? Well, I struggle with this at first. I was. When I started learning all this, I got kind of down. But as we started thinking about it, bringing in things like AI literacy first is really important for our education system. Making sure we understand that this is a good answer from AI and this is a bad answer from AI. Learning how to program, learning how to spend time with data is also gonna be critical for that new age as well. Focusing on STEM, science, technology, education, and math is also gonna be important whether they want to be in science and technology or not every single job will have a little element of STEM inside of it. For adults, learning how to integrate AI into your job right now is going to be critical. How can you answer that customer email faster? How can you make that widget faster? And how can you code faster with AI is going to be critical. We want to embrace this change and take our old jobs and have a new mindset towards it. We also want to embrace the vocations like electrical work, plumbing and carpentry and bring them into the age of AI as well. The last wild card here is by 2033, the US population is going to start to shrink. We're already starting to see this in many countries like Germany, South Korea and Japan already today. So we're going to need less people to do more work. And AI is the only way we're going to achieve that. Change is inevitable. And those that embrace that change will lead the future. So start educating yourself now. Become a master at things like AI prompting with some amazing tools that you'll find out there in the industry. I showed you today like Manus AI. You'll also find Copilot from Microsoft, ChatGPT, and dozens and dozens of other tools that will make your job easier today. So what do you think is next? And what should you tell your children to focus on in their lives as they're going through school? Let's discuss in the comments. Thanks for sticking around until the end. At Pragmatic Works, our main goal is to democratize technology and make it where anybody can learn how to do AI and other technologies out there. Check us out at pragmaticworks.com.